So glad everyone is here this morning. We're going to just start in our seated pose, nice and comfy, and just kind of wake those bodies up. So let's start with just our breath. We're going to inhale nose and exhale mouth. And just inhale nose, exhale mouth. Inhale nose, exhale mouth. And on the next inhale, we're gonna take a big stretch overhead. Inhale, reach as tall as you can and just exhale, open up your arms. We'll do that again. Take a big inhale, reach as tall as you can and exhale. On the inhale, let's kind of put some energy, some stretch into the body. And as you exhale, just release the arms down. So you feel that difference. Feel them just inhale, reach and stretch, and now relax them and exhale down. Let the arms be heavy. They can almost just fall down. Inhale, big stretch, exhale down. Good. On the next inhale, we're going to take our hands, grab one wrist, Reach as tall as you can and pull slightly over. And inhale up, grab the other wrist, big stretch and reach. Do that again. This time when you grab the wrist, give an extra stretch up before you pull over. So you're gonna stretch up, grab the wrist, lift it up and pull it over. Let's do that again two more times. Inhale, grab the wrist, exhale, pull over. Inhale up, grab the wrist, stretch, exhale, pull it over. Last one on this one, try to focus on the bigger stretch to the side. Stretch it over. One more time, big inhale up, and stretch it over. Now an inhale, and just let those arms be heavy, and relax them to the side again. Let's take that head and just gently twist it side to side. Side to side. Looking over your shoulder. And dropping the chin to the chest. Let the shoulders be heavy, kind of push them down. But we're at the same time, we're gonna lift up through the body. So we're not rounded forward right here. We're lifted up nice and tall, chin to the chest. Now take that ear on over to the shoulder, hold it right there. Notice if your other shoulder started to lift, intentionally push it down. Feel that extra stretch in your neck. Chin back to the chest, ear to the other shoulder. How about that opposite shoulder? Push it down. This is a, these are great stretches to do like midday if you are sitting a lot, take it down to your uh, chin to chest again. Over. Now this time take that opposite hand and just kind of push away, like you're releasing and lengthening the space between your shoulder and your ear and releasing anything um, that is causing you stress and tension. Hold right there. Bring it back, chin to chest. Ear to the other shoulder. Take that other hand and gently push away. Oh, feel that stretch. You may feel it all the way through the top of your, the top and back of your shoulder, top of your back, back of your shoulder back here. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. Take the chin to the chest, pull, intentionally push the shoulders down. Now take the ear to the shoulder. Take that hand, gently push away. And this time, take your eyes and just look up toward the ceiling. Not shortening the space. You want to keep the space lengthened between the shoulder and the ear. Holding right there. Bring it back, chin to chest. Other one, ear to shoulder. Push away with the opposite hand. Slightly down and back. Take that visual, take that gaze, and look up 
toward the ceiling, holding. And release it back. All right, we're gonna take an inhale and just open up our arms behind us. So pull them back as far as you can. Squeeze our shoulder blades together. And as you exhale, round as far as you can. Let's just flow through that. Open and squeeze and close and round. Good. Open up ah, and close. So as you're opening, think of opening yourself up to your day and receiving what's coming ahead with a grateful heart. So just open and close. Squeeze your shoulders. Round. Our verse for today is, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. So just think of what you can be glad in today. Maybe you don't even know yet, but choose right now to be glad in what comes your way today. You're going to rejoice in that, knowing that you have a loving God who can and will watch over you. Open and close, open and close. And on the next open, we're gonna take those hands right behind us and kind of place them to the outsides of your hips. So now I have my fingertips lifted right here, or my fingertips on the floor and my hands off the floor, the palm of my hands off the floor. And I'm gonna squeeze my shoulder blades together. Keep, again, being mindful to keep that distance between my shoulders and my ears. Now just take those hands, see if you can walk them down so that the palms of your hands are on the ground and your fingers are facing backwards. You may feel a big stretch right here throughout your arms. I know mine are a little double, so you don't need to look as funky as mine right here. <laughs> You're like, whoa, that's not gonna happen for me. That's a good thing. Hold the stretch. All right, we're gonna inhale up again. Exhale, open and close again. Open and close, exaggerating it. Open as far as you can. Round, feel how the body is just opening up, stretching out. This stretch already feels better than it did when we started. Body feels looser, back's getting warmer. On the next one, we're gonna take another inhale up. And we're gonna exhale and take those fingers in front of us. Palms um, face the ground, fingers face the legs. Again, your arms may look a little different than mine. Everybody's will. And maybe you can't get your palms flat on the floor. That's okay. We're just gonna try to stretch through this. So let's turn our hands over so your fingers go towards your legs. But now your palms are facing up. And we're just going to walk those hands over and over, waking our wrists up, waking up our arms, stretching them out before we even get started this morning. Good. Okay, now whichever place feels a little deep feels like a deeper stretch to you, maybe a little more tension, I want you to hold there, take your hands there, and just try to breathe through that. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. On the inhale, let's fill the lungs. On the exhale, let's push some air out of our mouth. So inhale, nose. Hold, exhale, mouth. Try to feel it down nice and low, even in your throat. Do that again two more times. Take your inhale, hold your breath, and then when you exhale, from deep in your throat, blow that air out. Take one more breath that way. Inhale, nose, hold, and exhale. All right, on the next inhale, let's take our big stretch again, all the way up overhead. This time we're gonna drop our right arm, take it right by our hip, and reach all the way up and over with the left arm, over your back shoulder. 
stretch right there as far as you can. Now reach it up again, nice and tall. We're gonna twist the other way. So we're just kind of twisting over your shoulder. We're gonna flow through that, reach it up, nice and tall, drop the right, stretch it over, reach it up, nice and tall, relax the left, stretch it over. As you're flowing through this, just keep going kind of at your pace. As you flow through it, try to increase your stretch. Start to feel it, uh, maybe even in your lower back as well. We've been doing a lot of upper back and shoulders right here. When you, to feel it more in your lower back, you're gonna need to increase your stretch and give a slight lean backwards. So inhale, reach backwards. You got it. Big stretch, reaching over. Inhale, exhale. When you exhale, you wanna relax that arm that's dropping to the ground. Big stretch. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale. On the next one, we're going to make it more of a twist. So this time we're going to inhale. We're going to drop both arms and our, uh, we're going to take the opposite arm across this um, leg over the knee and give more of a spinal twist right here. Just hold. You're going to feel this lower in your back. Good. So we're sitting nice and tall. Keeping those abs in. Awesome, now big inhale up. Lots of energy, exhale, and we'll take it to the other side. Just relax into the stretch. We're going to flow through these. This time we're gonna add just a little intensity as you exhale. You're gonna take this hand and give a gentle pull in with the hand. So some resistance to the stretch. So a little energy in this top arm that's on the leg, it's actually gonna pull. So you're gonna feel more of a rotation, more of a twist. Keep your shoulders dropped. We don't wanna hunch up right here. And we'll go in, home. we'll go to the other side. Drop it, energy, increase your rotation. All right, let's flow through that. So same thing, inhale, exhale, more of a twist. Inhale, exhale with a twist and with the energy from the top arm. Keep going. You can just do what feels good to you. If it feels good to hold the stretch, you can hold it. If it feels good to flow through it, you can flow through it. One thing that I like that they say in yoga is this is your practice this morning. So you know what your body, what feels good to your body. All of us need something a little bit different out of our time together. So find what you need and work in that space. All right, we'll go through this one more time. Big inhale. Exhale, add that twist. All right, on the next inhale, I want you to stretch as tall as you can. Reach, reach, reach up through the ceiling. Reach those fingers, maybe wiggle those fingers and release those arms nice and heavy. Good. All right, we're gonna take those knees underneath us, going to our tabletop. You're probably starting to wonder if we we're gonna sit for our whole session today. So let's kind of comfy. <laughs> All right, in our tabletop, we're gonna have our shoulders directly over our wrists and we're just gonna circle those hips. Circle those hips to the right. Those hips have been sitting, so time to move them a little bit. And let's take them the other direction. Now, as you're doing these hip circles, can you go ahead and bring some awareness into your core? So take those abs and just give them a little pull in and up with your brain, right? Okay, we're gonna go the other way, but we're gonna deepen it. We're gonna stretch all the way back like a child's pose, start bringing it forward. So you come back with the butt almost to the hips, bring those shoulders and your chest actually, so it's almost over your hands. So make your circle bigger. Can you stretch your circle out more to the right and the left as you go? Not shortening this um, 
distance, but just increasing the width. Keeping those abs in nice and tight. Come back to your tabletop. Let's go the other way, other direction. Big stretch. Circle those hips. Move your body all the way front, left, back into the right. All right, on the next one, we're going to come back to our flat tabletop. We're going to um, drop your abs, drop your shoulders, and lift your chin, lift your gaze up slightly. So just let your body be heavy right here. Take a big inhale as you exhale below that air out and lift all the way up. Do that again. Drop, shift your gaze slightly up. Inhale as you exhale, drop your head, let it be heavy. Lift up through the belly, nice and tall. All right, flow through this. Just take your own flow. Just inhale and exhale as you lift. Be mindful of your breathing. We're doing that same breath. We're going to take about three breaths of inhale, exhale, as you lift. Good. Keep that flow going. Releasing that back. And then we're going to bring it right back to our tabletop. In your tabletop, I want us to focus on our abs first. So we're going to pull our shoulders slightly down and back. Lift those abs kind of in and up slightly. Hold right there. We're going to lift our right leg behind us and take our left arm out in front without shifting weight. So your body stays just as it is and it reaches nice and long, holding here. Can you point your toes and reach with your fingers the opposite directions, getting a good stretch? Bring it back to all fours. Let's go the other way. Reach it out. Feel the stretch. Reach nice and long. And bring it back. All right. When we come, when we take our stretch, we're going to inhale as we lengthen the body and exhale as we fold in close. So inhale. When you're thinking about your breathing, that is the way we flow through our breath. When we're opening up, we take an inhale. When we're folding in, we take our exhale. So right here, we're stretching and opening and folding down. All right, just take about four more of these. Alternating. I was counting that for two. So we'll just do one more each side, bringing it down and reach and reach. So I was opening up our core a little bit, bringing some attention there. We're going to take our toes, tuck them under. First time to use those this morning too. So tuck those toes under, and I want you just to lift the legs off the mat right here and hover so you're still under all fours, but you lifted the legs off the mat and you're just hovering and holding. This isn't easy. This is a, like an isometric hold, tension in the legs. Inhale, exhale, and drop those knees down. Tuck the toes under. Take it back to your child's pose. When you reach into your child's pose, take those arms. Stretch overhead as far as you can. Walk those fingers forward. I just have my hands and my lower legs on the mat. I'm walking fingers forward. Pull that stretch now. And let the forearms go to the mat. Let the forehead go to the mat. Inhale and exhale. Because we stretch our arms so far forward, you probably really feel the stretch in your shoulders. Also stretching into the lower back. And if it feels, if it doesn't feel good, you can always have your butt in the air. Just like a little baby. You can little babies. I got a cute one in the room next door. Mm -hmm. um, just have your 
bat in the air right there if that feels better to you, or you can relax on those legs. All right, we're gonna come back up to our tabletop. Pull those abs in, nice and tight. Tuck those toes under again. This time we're gonna shoot those hips into the air and go into our downward dog. In our downward dog, we're gonna soften those knees, lift the abs in and up, and pedal those feet. Push your heels down. There's another area of the body we haven't used this morning, our lower legs, <laughs> our calves. Let's start waking them up. Putting a little energy there. Stretching those calf, that calf muscle. Also stretching all the way through your feet. Now, speaking of the feet, come nice and high on those toes, as high as you can, and then try to push both heels back as far as you can. Let's flow through that. Come up as high as you can and push it back as far as you can. And if this is, if if it's gotten to be too much on anyone for their wrist, you can shift down to your forearms, to your elbows, and go through some of these same moves. Lifting up nice and high and pushing back. Feel the stretch. All right, let's hold that stretch again. Let the head be heavy right here. We're gonna shake that head yes. Shake that head no, stretching out, making sure we didn't add extra tension in the neck. Now we're gonna hover forward in our plank. Hold your plank. You may have to shift your body a little bit. Lengthen it out, readjust. Lift those hips nice and high. You could always have your knees down, but you still have your hips forward. Holding here. We're gonna lower down as slow as we can, all the way down to the mat. Tuck the toes under and lift the upper body. Ah. Yeah, again, if this doesn't feel good on your back, if you're not maybe not ready for it this morning, you could stay right here on your forearms and just lift up. What we want here is just to lengthen out the abdominals, stretch them out, pull the shoulders down and back. Can you take that right leg and just lift it off the ground? The foot's on the ground, just not the leg. So the top of the foot is touching, lower it down, take the other leg, Top of the foot is touching, but not the leg. Lower down, let's go for both of those legs. Nice energy, lift the leg, holding here. Nice stretch, and lower down. Take it back into your child's pose. And we're gonna flow just from our child's pose to our upward dog a few times. So right here, we would be in our exhale position actually, so let's come front. Take our big inhale, pull back. Take your exhale as you push back. Do that again, inhale as you come front. Exhale as you fold. Pull the shoulders down and back. Taking it back again. Do it again. Bring it forward, pull back. And taking it back on the next one. We're gonna come here, hold again, lift. One leg, pull it there, tension in the thigh, put it down, lift the other leg, slightly off, tension in the leg, put it down, see if you can lift both legs, shoulders down and back, hold it here, put it down. Now tuck those toes under again, go into downward dog, let that head be heavy, lift up through the abs, uh, push, the butt slightly back as you lift. We're gonna take that right leg. We're gonna lift it nice and high, big stretch right behind us, and kick it back. Open up the hips right here, bend the knee. Open the hips, now stretch back, and bring that knee to the nose. Nice and slow, taking it back. Bring it again, nice and slow, bringing it front. Taking it back, big stretch, bringing it through. One more time, stretching it back. And this time we're gonna bring that foot up right here, right in between the hands. We're gonna take our fingertips to the mat, lift the shoulders slightly, and try to take each hand 
off the mat, lift your upper body, feel a lot of tightness in a good way, tension tightness that you're putting in your legs, not in your upper body, trying to just relax, hold the upper body in that nice low lunge, drop those hands back down, drop the back toe down, tuck the toes under, hold that stretch. Inhale, exhale, already you're feeling a lot of stretch in that back leg and your hip flexors. Hold here, now take the opposite hand of your front foot, put the hand flat on the ground, and let's open up the other arm. If it feels too tight in that space, just take your front leg, walk it out a little bit, so that your foot can be flat on the ground, and you can open up your space at your hips. Open up right here. Now the next move may be a little too challenging for us. And if you have a mat, I mean, if you have a mat, if you have a strap, you might want to use it or a towel. I'm going to lift that back leg and try to take this hand that's in the air and give it a gentle pull. Now, if that's too much, then just um, take your foot, hold it up where it will go. Or if you had a towel, I will show that with the towel. So I can take the towel, wrap it around my foot, and give that gentle pull right here. Good. Holding that stretch. If it happens to be too much on your knees, then I just want you to release it back down. Good, nice job everyone. Holding here, now release it down. Take your hands right inside so both hands are inside that foot and just feel the stretch. In this place, give a slight gentle sway, right and left, feeling your hips open. Now take this um, hand that is right by the foot, and see if you can reach it under the leg and do the same. Give your gentle sway, stretching and opening the hips right here. Little sway right and left. All right, we're going to bring that hand back inside. Take that back leg, lift it up into a nice plank position. Now you're in your spider pose. At least that's what I call it. So we have our leg right there outside of the foot and we're going to take it back into our high plank back into your high plank abs are in slowly lower all the way down tuck the toes under lift up nice and tall tuck the toes again shoot into the air and soften those knees lift the abs in and up so think of Lifting up as high as you can on this. So toes are down, lift it up. Now push those heels down, lift up on the toes. Push the heels all the way down, lift up on the toes. One more time, heels down, knees soft, head heavy, abs lifted. We're gonna take that left leg, lift it up, and take it back to open. Hold your stretch right here. Uh, feel those hips open up. Now lift that leg again. Pull the knee to the nose. Taking it back. Big stretch. Doing it again. Knee to nose. Take it back. Hover forward. Crunch in. One more time. Bringing it back. And this time we will take that foot through our hands so you're on the opposite leg. Lengthen out your long lunge. Try to lift one hand and then the other. Maybe you notice that your legs, one leg is a little easier than the other to balance, to hold. You know, hold your stretch. Inhale and exhale. And take those fingertips back down. Drop that back knee. Tuck the toes under. Hold the stretch. All right, we're gonna lift that outside hand up and open up right here. So you're opening up your chest, reaching back and up with the arm. Just 
front foot is flat on the ground. Again, if it feels like too much, just kind of inch your foot out a little bit to get a deeper hip stretch opening up. Good, nice work, holding that stretch. So good, so strong. Take the hands down, both of them inside the foot. We'll give our gentle sway, right and left. And take that hand under, if it works for you, and a gentle sway. I left out our hardest stretch of this set. At least it's the hardest one for me. All right, so we'll do a few more sways right here, opening up the hips and bring it back. Okay, now we're going to bring maybe inch that foot back in a little bit. Come back on your fingertips and lift that back leg. There's what I forgot to give us on this one. And you know, you might not feel the same on each side. So if this one doesn't feel as good as the other, or you need to use your towel or strap, and you didn't on the other, that's okay. It's whatever works for your body this morning. So feeling that extra stretch right there in the hip flexors and the quads. Holding your stretch. Nice work, inhale, exhale. Probably brought some heat into the body as you just deepen that stretch. Now we're gonna release it down, hands back in, you lift that back leg, you're in that spider stretch. Nice plank. And bring that other leg back, holding your plank. Inhale, exhale, stay in your plank. We're gonna push those heels down and back. We're gonna lift the knees slightly. We're gonna squeeze the glutes and thighs and slowly lower down all the way down, tuck the toes under, lift it up, hold your upward dog. All right, we're gonna take those, um, come up on all fours. Now we're gonna take those knees wider. We're gonna move it back into a child's pose, but take your knees to the outsides of the mat. Our hip stretch is, we've been opening up our hips. We're gonna stretch a little further, now with the hip stretch by taking our butt back and reaching those arms forward. Feel the stretch. Let the arms go to the mat, not in a relaxed forearm stretch, but at inching those fingers forward, stretching out those arms. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. All right, we're gonna take that right arm, reach it all the way up behind you, just like we did in our dragonfly pose. So reach up. Now we're gonna take the arm under our armpit as far as we can and let the palm face the ceiling, let the side of the head face the ceiling. So you're looking towards your arm that is reaching to the side. Inhale, exhale. And again, this one is where it's fine to have your butt high in the air if that feels better to you. When you, you just kind of shift your weight forward, that's a great stretch. They both, they both are great stretches. So do whichever place feels good to you this morning. Inhale, exhale. All right, let's take that other arm overhead. Take the other hand, reach it as high as you can. Reach it under as far as you can. Take the arm overhead, come face to the ceiling. Stretching your shoulders. We opened up and stretched our shoulders at the beginning, then we flew, flew. We slowed through. We kind of did slow down through them too. We slowed through some poses that um, cause our shoulders to hold the weight, hold the tension of our body. And now we're stretching our shoulders back out. Inhale, exhale. 
All right, we're gonna bring, draw our hands back in, come back on all fours, bring those knees back together. Give me that inhale and exhale. So inhale in your extended pose, exhale as you stretch up. And inhale as you drop the abs, as you lift the head. Exhale as you drop the head down. Good. Two more times to that, exaggerating your stretches. That feels so good on that back. One more time. And we're gonna tuck those toes again. Bring it right back up into our downward dog. Pedal those feet again. Pedal those feet. Now we're gonna take that right leg, lift it up high again, kick it back. Hold it there. Now lift it up and push back and bring the knee to the nose. Give me a strong hover. Push it back. Take that knee to the same elbow. Outside the elbow. Hover and hold. Taking it back. Reaching it up. Nice and high. Bring it across. Hover and hold. Taking it back. And this time we're going to bring that leg to a pigeon pose. So it's going to come right across the body. Back leg is going to drop. We're going to bring those fingers up, shoulders back and down, lengthen out that space between your shoulders and your ears. If it doesn't feel good to you today or the stretch is too deep, you could take your towel, take a pillow or something, put it right behind or right under your right hip. All right, we're going to take those hands to the ground now. Deepening that stretch a little bit. Letting the body kind of relax into the mat. Now take those forearms down right here. As you do, it might feel good to inch that back leg back a little bit. Deepen your stretch. Hold here. Now I'm gonna take my hands, kind of turn them out to the side to make a place to hold my head and drop all the way down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Just breathing, just relaxing. We said we were going to, uh, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So think right now, what could bring you joy in your day? It might be that the day ahead for you does not feel joyful at all. It might be that you're looking at, some, at a day where you're thinking you have tasks to do, work to do that is going to be draining. I want you to take your mind and think of a place that you can find joy. You're going to choose that joy even in your work, even in your struggles, even if it's hard times today. Feeling your stretch, slight gentle sway, right and left. And bring it back up. Hands right here. We're just go the opposite way of how we got into the stretch. We're going to lift up. We're going to go to our fingertips, pull up and back. Now we're going to take that back leg, lift it into a plank. Take the other one back to our plank again and slowly drop down into your nice slow push up. Tuck the toes, lift up, upward dog. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. Pedal those feet, push and push. Lift all the way up on the toes, drop the heels. Take that left leg, lift it up nice and strong, kick it back. Hold it there, opening up. Lift it back again. Take the knee to the nose, hover and hold. Stretch it back. Knee to same elbow, outside of the elbow if you can. Coming forward, hover and hold. Take it back. Bring it to the opposite elbow, hover and hold. Take it back. And we'll bring this leg through to Pigeon pose. Time to bring it straight across or whatever works for your body. You're going to inch that other leg back. 
So you're on your pigeon pose. Good. On the other leg. Lift up. Fingertips on the mat. Lift the shoulders. Again, you might want to put a little pillow right under your hip. Sometimes the stretch is just too much for us. One day could be different than the other. You just have to go ahead and accept where your body is today, and that's the place you're working from. All right, let's take those hands down. Maybe let the hips come into the mat more. Now take the forearms down. Right here, inhale, exhale. And I'm gonna take my arms out to the side, create a little pillow for my head, and bring my forehead to the mat. Go ahead and take a slight gentle sway, just moving kind of right and left with the hips, feeling the extra stretch right here. I know we've done a lot of work during the week in our workouts that have challenged those muscles, maybe created a little soreness. So this may not feel so good, <laughs> but it is good for us and will help us feel better later on as we stretch and lengthen out our muscles. Inhale, exhale. All right, we're going to take those back toes, tuck them under, lift up nice and high, take that back leg into your plank. Now, in our nice tight plank right here, we're going to just take the right leg, bring it up to the outside of the hand, and taking it back. Take the left leg, bring it up to the outside of the hand in your plank, and take it back. Let's do two more of those each side. As you do, keep the abs in. Try to keep the shoulders dropped. Not too much tension in between the shoulders and the ears. Taking it back. We're going to go one more time each side. Bringing it up. Taking it back. Bringing the other leg up. And taking it back. Abs in. Slowly lower all the way down. Tag those toes under, lift up, nice tall stretch. Shoot it back into your child's pose. Flow through it a few times. Back to your upward dog. Back to your child's pose as you exhale. Bring it to your upward dog as you inhale. Back to your child's pose. One more time. Now we're going to come forward. We're going to take one leg over by that hand. We're going to take the other foot to the outside so you're in a nice low squat, froggy squat right here, right? Froggy squat. I'll just stay here facing you. Good. Maybe you can have your hands on the ground, maybe your fingertips. And maybe you could start walking those hands back so that they go behind your heels. And you actually might think this feels better if you can get there because you're going to let your, take your hands behind your heels and let your legs kind of rest on your arms. If it works, it might not work, right? If it doesn't, you just take your stretch nice and low. So either one, hold it here. Maybe gentle sway, right and left. About to come to the end of our time. So opening, this is your last hip stretch right here. All right, hands back in front of you. I want you to straighten up, lengthen up, look right between those legs. Now bend the knees and give me a flat tabletop with the back. So a nice flat tabletop. Straighten up, look right between those legs. Bend the knees, flat tabletop. One more time, straighten up. Good, bring those feet in closer together. We're gonna bend the knees, come up on the toes, come down nice and low. Last strength pose, bring one hand up at a time, cover and hold. 
heels are off the mat. If you need to, you just put those hands down. But lift those heels as high as you can. Maybe you take those hands down, try to lift them a little higher, and then bring those hands back up again. Hold right here. Now we're gonna gently come down to our butt. Maybe it's not so gentle, right? And we're gonna take those hands in front of us. Abs are in. Slowly lower all the way back down, all the way to your mat. Lengthen out the body. Give me a big stretch as tall as you can. Stretch and lengthen and release. One more time, stretch and lengthen and release. And lengthen and stretch. Inhale, on your exhale, pull that right thigh into your chest, nice and close. Probably feel the hamstring pretty stretched. Those legs are so stretched. So you can get it in nice and close to your body. Inhale, exhale, switch legs, pull it in. Feel the stretch. Inhale, exhale, switch, pull in. One more time, inhale, exhale, as you pull that leg in, all the way in. Good. Now we're just gonna bend that knee, open it up to the outside of our rib cage right here. Take the opposite hand, gently pull it over to the other side, look the opposite direction. Final stretches for our back, for our hips. Holding here. Inhale, exhale. Bringing it back in. Pull that thigh to the chest. Now switch legs. Other side to the chest. Keep the body lengthened and just open that knee toward the shoulder outside of keeping both sits bones on the ground. Awesome mat right here, opening up. Inhale, exhale. And take the other hand above the knee on the thigh. Gently pull over and look the opposite direction. All right, lengthen back out. Big inhale up. Pull the toes towards you. Lift the lower legs off the ground. Stretching as high as you can. As you exhale, let the arms come to the side. Inhale, exhale. We're going to be in our final relaxation pose. Inhale, exhale. Great time to just think of being grateful for the strength that you have in your mind and your body. You made a choice this morning to get up. You have a strong mind, a strong desire, a strong heart that wants to be healthy. You want to do that not only for yourself, but for the people around you, the people you love. So be grateful for that heart. Be grateful for your mind. Be grateful for your strong body. Now we're gonna to roll to the side gently. Take your hands, push yourself up. Take your knees underneath you. Come all the way up without using our hands. If we can, we're just gonna stand up nice and tall. We're gonna take one final big inhale stretch. Exhale down to your toes. Bring it back up, inhale and exhale. That was so good. Thank you so much for starting your morning with me. Hope you feel great and energized for your day.